Okay. <laughs> this is just gonna be a relaxing video for you all. For me, it took a lot of energy. Today is the greatly anticipated mug video that I blame my friend Holly over at Lovely Day with Holly that wanted to see all of my mugs. <laughs> all of my coffee mugs. Every single one. And yes, I might not have as much as some people, but it is quite a lot. So let's go ahead and share every single one. All right, so this is a quick overlay of the kitchen table. Ah, uh, yeah, I have a problem, a big problem. <laughs> and this is after I got rid of like a good, maybe eight to 10 of them, oh boy. Okay, so I was trying to find a good spot to film because if I angle it more this way, we're gonna get the light from the window because it's, yeah, it's daylight and it's quite bright in those windows, I don't know why. Is the camera straight? I think it is, okay. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna show you every single mug. I have them actually organized by, um, yeah, by um, movie, genre, whatever. We'll start with the Disney because that's the majority. <laughs> and then I have other ones. Um, most of the Disney ones actually I got from thrift stores. Thrift stores, uh, antique shops, and places like the home goods stores and stuff. So yes, I got these for very cheap compared to regular prices. So let's go ahead and start with the one that really doesn't fit in any category. And that is my newest one, which is Dale. No, Chip. <laughs> I knew I was gonna confuse her names. Chip, mom has Dale, a matching set, but I have Chip. So this is actually a Christmas one because it's got the candy cane and I just love him. He's so cute, so cute, mm, so cute. I actually, my favorites that I own are the ones that are like the face sculptured ones that stick out. Like not very um, handy for drinking out of, but super cute for on the shelf, yeah. All right, so that's the one that doesn't really have any category. Let's go to the classic like um like the like the classic five characters that uh, no I only have like one, two, three, four of the characters out of the original cast. So I don't have any Donald, Daisy, or Pluto. <laughs> Alright, so we'll start off with another sculpture one. This is Mickey. Actually this this was a Walmart font. Go figure that one out. Super cute, another sculptured one, which I absolutely love. And I love that his both of his ears are handles. That's like so cute. All right, and then we're gonna go to one of my biggest mugs, which is this thing. Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's the size of my face. This is what I use for like caramel macchiatos because I tend to make a double batch because I'm thirsty. So this thing is ginormous. Also probably really great for ramen and soup and everything else. Super big, love it. And it's also Christmas themed she's got holly in her hair but i use it all year long all right so next up is you <laughs> i forgot i used this one to drink out of earlier so i got my hand in water um i use this one this is just uh animal print themed i love the handle and it's got hidden mickeys all over it even has a hidden mickey on the inside super cute don't worry i empty these out of water i just have a little extra all right so i have that one um uh oh Okay, never mind. I was like, I used another one for filming today. All right, next up, I have kind of a set. This one is Pete's Gym with Goofy, and his head sticking out like it's kind of bumped out, and he's in the back, like poking his head out of the wood. I love that one. That one's one of my favorite finds. I love thrifting. I love finding mugs at thrift stores. If you ever find one, yeah, grab it. <laughs> but this one, this one is Mickey. It kind of matches the Goofy. Kind of has that same theme going on. But this one is starring tonight Mickey Mouse and he's peeking out of the curtain and then it has backstage with his little red shorts. I love that. I love how it bumps out. Some of my absolute favorites. All right, another one, which this one has Donald on it. This is um, Return of the Fog. It's a um, tale of the mouse of mystery. So it's like a mystery story and it's got printed on both sides. I love it. And Donald is tied up. Oops, back there. Love that. Super cute. Okay, so I have that one. Next up is my last Mickey one, which is Mickey with my initial K. I think this was a find at one of those home goods stores. Could have been Tuesday morning, actually. But yeah, so super cute. I love that one. I don't use that enough. Okay, next up are my 
Um, I have one actually that doesn't fit a category. Use it today for filming. And that's my Robin Hood mug. Oh, I love this one so much. Actually, when I got this one, I thought it was tin because it said camping mug. And I was like, oh, I can use this while we're camping. Nope. It's ceramic, so. But it has the Udalali song on the back. Udalali, Udalali, golly, what a day. With the um, rooster playing his mandolin. Super cute. I love it. I love Robin Hood. One of my favorites. All right, on to Beauty and the Beast. I have a few of those. Um, actually, I think my biggest collection is Pooh. That sounded bad, didn't it? Winnie the Pooh characters. Let's just elaborate on that title. <laughs> okay, we'll start with Beauty and the Beast. Um, I can't show you the one though because I think this is the one, but it is a morphing mug. But it has a Beauty and the Beast scene. I think it's um, the Thomas Kincaid version, I think, of Disney, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to show you it. I'm going to put hot water in it, but I'm lazy today. I've been filming a lot. <laughs> All right, so next one. This the next two are, no, the next three are the only ones I've gotten at Disney. And kind of funny that they're all Beauty and the Beast themed. Can you tell that's one of my favorite movies? The original. <laughs> um, but this is my favorite mug. This is the very first one that I, the very first Disney mug that I think I ever got. And I just, I love him so much. He's so adorable. He does have a paint chip on his nose. I don't know how that happened. He must have gotten scratched by another one, but... He's so cute, and he does have a chip. One that was actually made though, so it's not gonna hurt you. But yes, I love chip. Oh my goodness, I had to have him when I was like, yes, like I always wanted to drink out of chip watching the movie. I'm like, I want my own chip, and then they made him. So love that. All right, and then I got this one at Disney as well. This was on our second trip, I think. That was my first trip. I think, yeah, I think so. When I was, no, it wasn't the first trip, <laughs> but it was in the past ten years roughly. And then I got Be Our Guest, which has Lumiere. And I just kind of wanted one that was more, I guess, an everyday mug rather than like a character or whatever. So I got Be Our Guest. And it was also, I think I got this one because it was one of the cheapest ones. I think I was running out of money that trip. So, <laughs> so I got this one, but it's still really pretty and it has a black inside. love it. And super classy. love it. All right. And then this one was one that I just got on our trip when we went last spring. And this one says, I want adventure in the great wide somewhere and it has the rose and it's got books on the other side. So naturally being a book lover, I had to get this one. So I love it. It's another one of those like ceramic ones, but like they look like they're like made out of tin or something, but I love it. I love the books. I love the saying because I want to go on adventures everywhere. So it's perfect for me. All right. Next up is the Pooh collection. Or should I save that for last? Yeah, might as well go for it. All right, so yeah, there's a, there's a lot of poo. All right, and now we go to the Winnie the Pooh collection. And I have quite a few. It's extensive. And yes, I love my Pooh characters. Yes, probably more than Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. Nowadays, anyways. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have this Eeyore mug. This one's kind of gearing me toward maybe unhauling because it's not like my absolute favorite Puma or like one of the Pooh characters. 100 Acre Wood characters, there we go. So this is Eeyore. I do love my Eeyore though. Eeyore holds a special place in my heart. He's so sweet. And he needs a hug. But yeah, so Eeyore. Next up is I love. Let's do, let's do the regular characters before Pooh or the other characters. So this one says Tigger on the one side. Is it upside down? Upside down. Tigger. And it's got Tigger bouncing out of there. That's so cute. I love that one. All right, so we have that one. Next up is this one. This one's like the cutest one, but it's a little hard to drink out of, but oh my goodness, it is so cute. Um, if I haven't said where I got it, most likely it's from thrift stores or home goods stores and stuff. This one I think might've been from Box Lunch. I think. But it's so cute. Oh, look how cute that is. And it says, I don't know if you can see it, but it does say piglet on the inside there. Oh, there it is. Kind of. You can kind of see it. But oh, I love piglet. Oh, he's so cute. All right, so piglet. All right, and then this one. I love this one so much I had to get it. I don't, I don't know if it's a whole collection. It probably is. But this is Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. And this is kind of like a... Like, I guess, a collection one, I guess. The Animated Classics Mug Collection, yeah. From Lennox, wow. 1999. 
but just the front of it made me laugh. I think I found this at an antique store. But it's just Tigger, and he's sticking out his tongue at the honey that Pooh is offering. Like, how funny is that? He's like, yeah. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay. So then we go on to the tall ones. I have a lot of tall latte ones in the Pooh ones. And I have a collection of three. I still need, there is, I still need Tigger. And I think there's a Christopher Robin one too. And a rabbit. I don't know. I'll have to find him. But I do have Pooh. This is the Pooh one. And it has Pooh flying up with a balloon. I mean, come on. It's adorable, isn't it? So cute. Oh, love that. So there's Pooh. And then I have Piglet in that same set. So there's Piglet in his head balloon. And there's Piglet on top of a balloon. Those are so cute. Those are some of my favorites. And then I have this one, which is Eeyore. And I have Eeyore, too. There's Eeyore, and he's got his tail stuck on the balloon. Oh, so adorable. I love those ones. All right, and then we have two more tall ones, which this one my mom just got me as a thing as, as a thank you. <laughs> That's what I thought of as a congratulations for one year and 1,000 subscribers. But it is Pooh and Piglet, and there's Eeyore on here too, and they're surrounded by books. <sighs> How adorable is that? It did come with the lid, but I don't like the lid. It was very loose, so I will not be using the lid. All right, and then my last latte mug tall one, this might be my favorite mug of all time. It just makes me laugh every time I see it. It's so funny, and I just love it. Okay, you ready? Pooh is on top of a stack of honey jars, getting ready to jump, and shoot Piglet in a honey, honey beehive. Oh my goodness, and I don't know if you can see Piglet's face, but his face it just looks so like, Pooh, what are you doing to me? I love this mug so much. I This is like the one I use the most or close to the most. Oh, I love that one. All right, and then on to like my just strictly poo mugs. I have three of them. And this one just makes me makes me laugh too. It's a little tea with your honey. So lots of honey and just a little bit of tea. That's kind of the way I like my honey. Or like my honey. That's the way I like my tea is with a lot of honey. So super adorable. I love that one. I use that one a lot too. All right, and then I have this one which is just a regular honey pot and it's got poo on the top. Keeps your tea warm, if you want your tea warm. But I love this one, it's just a honey pot with the little crookedy kid lettering. I just love that, that's super adorable. Although, I think honey, I think one of the ends should be actually backwards. So I think in the stories, one of the, le one of the ends is backwards. So let me know if I'm wrong. All right, and then the last poo mug that I have, I think, yes, is one of the sculpted ones. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. And actually, honestly, this one is the hardest. Oh, I just saw that. I think his paint's chipping already on the inside. That stinks. Oh, this dirty. Oh, nope, it's dirty. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, my little heart. All right. But this one, I think, is the hardest one to drink out of because his ears are kind of in the way. So you kind of have to drink like that so but he is super cute and it's mostly for decor because he's adorable all right on to alice in wonderland i have a few i don't have many but i have a few um one's actually like kind of like the classic drawings which i think is really cool so this one this one's very interesting so this one's kind of like i'm just got like a mixture of like the disney version and like kind of like the classic drawings i don't know it's very interesting like I don't know, it's really interesting. And then on the inside it says, Through the Looking Glass and Alice in Wonderland, and it's got the um, Chester cat in there. Pretty cool. I like the chess pieces on the handle, that's really cool. But yeah, I think I got this one around, around my 25th birthday because I had an Alice in Wonderland party, so I think I got that around then. Alright, and then the next one that I got, my dad actually saw this one the other day. He's like, I didn't know you had that one, I like that one. It's kind of funny. Oh, it has butter and toast on the inside. Or, um, what are they called? Butter? Are they just called butterflies? I know they look like butter toast. <laughs> I can't remember. But it has a scroll handle, which I love. And it's got the tea party. And it only has the Mad Hatter and Alice on it. But it's super cute. I love it. It's got a whole bunch of little teapots and teacups. Love that. Super cute. Alright. And one more. Oh, no. Two more. For Alice in Wonderland. 
Now this one, again, is another one that I really can't show you the entire thing, but it says we're all mad here, and it's got the Chester Cat. And when it gets warm, you see the entire Chester Cat, and I think Alice shows up too, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. But yeah, so there's that one. All right, and then the last one that I have is this sauce and cup set. So I have the saucer. Can you tell where this is going? Maybe. <laughs> but we have the 10-6 hat. And, oh, I, didn't, I don't even know if I noticed that. Really close up, I see the Chester cat hidden in here. Actually, he's the only character that I see. But it's covered in mushrooms and stuff. And then I see the Chester cat hidden right there. But yes, yeah, so it's 10-6, and it's got a little to make the entire hat. That's super adorable. I think I got that at Bucks Fox Lunch, I think, or Tord. All right. Then I have a couple cups from Snow White. This video is getting long. <laughs> All right, so I have this one, which says, hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. And they're going off to work in the mine. Oh, I love that one. It looks like somebody stepped on it. I can't tell what's going on there, but poor, um, oh, Sneezy. It's got to be Sneezy, right? <laughs> but it's so funny. It's got everybody, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, all seven dwarfs. Love that. It's so cute. Okay, and then this one is an anniversary mug, I think. This is, yep, 50th anniversary of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And, yeah, so I had to grab this one. I was like, oh, yes, absolutely. Like, I had to grab the anniversary one, right? And it's got all of them around the kitchen table. Oh, look, they got a birthday cake. Oh, I'm not looking at these close enough when I actually have them. So this is kind of fun for me, too. All right, and then the last one for Snow White is another another mug. I love his big nose. Oh, it's so cute, but it's grumpy, and he's kind of half smiling, I guess. So he's super cute, though. He's got his little hat there. Oh, he's just adorable. I love his grumpy face. Man. Okay, and then I have two um, miscellaneous mugs again for the Disney mugs, and then we're going to go on to my regular mugs. That I have a couple fandom ones and then the rest are kind of just everywhere. Okay, so last two. I think actually this one might be one of my very first Disney mugs I ever got. Yeah, this is an old one. Oldie but goodie. Because I don't, because I don't know how long ago this mug was made, but I found this at a thrift store and I had to have it. It's a weird shape, but it is from The Incredibles. And it's weirdly shaped. It's actually shaped like that. Like, it's not crooked on screen. No, that, that, it is crooked. That's the way it looks. And it says, it's my way or the runway. <laughs> but it has The Incredibles, all their costumes on there. So adorable. And then it has um, another E design on there. Oh, so funny. I love that one. All right. So this one is my last one. This is Ursula. And it's just kind of like from her neck down I guess <laughs> but it's got these gorgeous tentacles like I love that they're just surrounding the mug like it's sculpted on there the handle is a tentacle how many tentacles one two three four five six so she's a squid on this one <laughs> but yeah so she is super cool I love this one so much so that is my last Disney mug now we'll go into my all, all of my other ones okay so Last batch of, of mugs. This is like the longest video of my entire 25 days of bookmas videos. Okay, so next one is actually a Christmas themed one. Yeah, I only have the Minnie Mouse one and this one is themed. I had another one, I must have gotten rid of it. It was Garfield. I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of it because I don't have any other Christmas mugs. But okay, so I have this one, which I just got recently. It has the Grinch and Max in their classic Grinch form of the old version. Oh, I just love it so much. One of my favorites. Okay, so I have that one. Then I have um, Bugs Bunny and the gang. And this one's cute. So it's got Bugs Bunny, it's got Sylvester, it's got Yosemite Sam, Daffy Duck, Wile E. Coyote, and Tasmanian Devil all in Western garb. And I just, I love that one. Probably Honestly, don't use this very often because it is quite small, but it's so, so cute. I don't think I'll ever get rid of that. Maybe. I don't know. But it's cute. All right. Next one that I have is 
this was when I was like, I was on like binge watching My Little Pony for some reason. I don't think I ever liked like the 80s or early 90s version. I didn't like that. But I like the newer version and Pinkie Pie is just like so fun. Like she has a party cannon, like tucked away in her mane or something. It just comes out with a party cannon. Party cannon. Boom. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I love her so much and she's so funny. So I had to get the mug. All right, next one is this one I might have to get rid of because it's starting to chip already. I haven't even used it that much, which is unfortunate. But I have a sloth mug. I love sloths. They're one of my favorites. So I do have a sloth mug. He's so cute. He's holding on to a very big branch there. But he's super cute. I love him. All right, next up, I love this one because it says, Hello, Gorgeous. And it's um, it reminds me of Barbra Streisand, like, so much from Funny Girl. So... I had to get Hello Gorgeous, so yeah, it's on both sides. Love it. It's in gold. Actually, I think I got this, actually. I got it uh, at Dave & Buster's, I think, with coupons or tickets. So yeah, I had to get it. I love the gold. That actually hasn't washed off yet, which is nice. All right, next up is, this is a cute set. I don't know where I got this, but we've got a mouse cup. Very small. This is like espresso small, but then the saucer is a cat. I mean, how cute is that? So, my finger is stuck. <laughs> there we go. We got the mouse with the cat. Super cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's adorable. I won't get rid of that either. Okay. Next up is this one, which this is like my favorite play and one of my favorite soundtracks, and I had to get it, and that is The Phantom of the Opera. And it has the mask on the other side. So, yes, I do love this one so much. I do use this occasionally, but yeah, I know. I should be like, the ones that you don't use should be the ones you should get rid of, but <sighs> yeah, maybe if they weren't down so low, I'd actually use them more because some are down low and some are up high. Oops, I forgot to shut the cover. But those are where most of them are usually. <laughs> All right, uh, last, last few. We're down to like the last seven. All right, I have two that have my names on them. And uh, this one, this one's an old one. Um, I think this one we got when I was 12. We went down to Disney in Florida, but we also visited, visited SeaWorld, and I think that's where we got these. And so I have a SeaWorld one, and it has whales, and it has my name on it. I love when I find my name on stuff. I used to get stuff with my name on it all the time when I was younger. But yeah, so it has my name on it, Katie. And then the other one that has my name on it, my friend actually made me, which I love. It's so cute. And she knows I love Bible journaling, so... This is cute. It does look like me, but it says, I love to Bible journal. And it's got her, she's got a little Bible journaling. And she's sitting, I like how she's sitting on the B and the J of Bible journaling. So she's super cute. And honestly, I feel like she probably got this outfit from, uh, I don't know, it reminds me of the outfit that I wore on Halloween one year when we went to their house just to hang out. But it has my name on it. Um, I don't know if I want to show you my middle name. But there you go. So it has my, my name and my first name means pure. Um, well, because it's short for Catherine or Caitlin. So it means pure. But yes, yeah, so love that. All right, next mug that I have. This is one that you've seen that I got on Etsy um, from this lovely seller, Tyler Shea Designs. And yeah, so it has my favorite middle grade books all listed, custom designed. I'll link her shop down below in case you want to check it out. But yeah, so it has my favorite middle grade books on here. It's got... Uh, Pippi Longstocking, Monster Friends, The Princess Tales, Close to Famous, When Stars Are Scattered, The Secret of the Old Clock, Journey to Juna, and Chronicles of Narnia. So super cute. And then I have this one that makes me laugh too. And this one is so funny. Um, it has a Bible verse that says, Create grace and peace be multiplied to you, 2 Peter 1, 2. But then the back of it, oh, it makes me laugh. But it's day 39 on the ark. And the elephants are saying, I thought the limit was two. And look at all the bunnies. Oh my goodness. It's such a bad joke. Like, it's so terrible. But like, all the bunnies. Oh, it's just, it cracks me up every time I see it. I had to get it. All right. And then I have this one, which is another sloth mug. This is for soup or ramen or whatever. And I do use this one occasionally when I have ramen and stuff. But a little sloth face, pink inside, super cute. I do have another one, the same sizes, but I can't show you because it has my, um, my graduation year. They were handing those out when I was a senior, so I still have mine. And it, wow, this is my 12th year of graduation after graduation. Wow. 
I'm old. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> I have two mermaid mugs. This one, which is just kind of a plain one. I kind of want to do something with this. I don't know if like I want to like maybe put my paintbrushes in or sponges. I don't know. It was just mostly for like a decor piece kind of. I think I actually used it originally for the bathroom. Because it's cute. And I love mermaids. It's got the mermaid tail. Really cute. I wish though it's lined. I wish it was a scale pattern. That would have been prettier. The tail has a scale pattern, but this part doesn't. All right, and the last one that I have is actually from my dad. And this one has a mermaid on it. I actually haven't really used it. I've only used it once or twice um, because I don't really like to bring ceramic mugs with me outside because this is more of a travel mug um, just because I'm afraid I'm going to drop it and break it. Um, but yeah, so I probably will be using it. I'll use it during the summer and I'll put like iced tea or something in it. But yeah, so this one's super cute. I love the colors. My dad got that for me one Christmas or birthday. I can't remember. But yes, yeah, so those are all of them. Huh. That was a lot of work, actually. I'm tired, and I'm going to go read a book now. <laughs> all right, so thank you for joining me in this fun video. Thank you, Holly, for making me put out all of my <laughs> mugs for you all to see. But I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know what was your favorite mug um, that you saw today, because there's a lot of cute ones, man. I didn't realize I had so many cute ones. Like, you never realize it until, like, you have them all surrounded on all four sides. <laughs> Not, all, not that many, but yeah, so they filled up the entire kitchen table. I'm glad my parents were not here to see that. <laughs> They'd probably be like, uh, you need to get rid of some more mugs. No. No, actually, I, 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 ha I just recently got rid of like, I think between six and eight at least. So I did get rid of some, and I do know that I need to get rid of a few more, so. Maybe I'll do that before I even put these back. Because there are a few that are kind of like, like looking at me like, hey, you never use me. So, so yeah. So, thank you for joining. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you all tomorrow for the next day of Bookmas.